How are you? Thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I wanted to share with you some of my June and July favorites. I apologize that I did not film, or I did film. I apologize that I did not get up a July or June favorites, June, June favorites video. Um, when I was about to upload it, it was already like mid-July, so I figured I would just wait until the end of July and just get two months worth of beauty products in one video. You know? That's two. One video. Is that alright? I apologize. So let's get into it. The first favorite of mine is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I absolutely love, love this palette so much. I was a little bit iffy about it at first just because I was like, eh, they're pretty, but am I going to use them like frequently or are they just going to be one of those palettes that I'm um, just here and there I'll use a color out of. But I have been using it quite a bit. They're probably on my eyes right now. I do have the cocoa on my eyes right now. Always the brown colors. But the charcoal color is so gorgeous. So is the jade, the black, the chrome, the mocha, the rose, the beige. Just the whole palette. Like literally the whole palette. I don't think there's a color that I don't like. And most of the time there's always colors that don't look really great on me. Like the colors just pull dirty or they are too pinky or too orangey. Or they just look really sickening on me. Um, but there hasn't been a color that I have not liked. So I absolutely have been loving this palette. If you are not familiar with the Lorac Pro palette, this is the newest one. The first palette is my favorite palette by far ever, ever, ever. It is seriously so great. The colors are super pigmented, very blendable. They're soft. There's not tons of fallout on them. They're a little bit powdery, but I don't really mind powdery. I normally just pat on the color if I if it's like a color that has shimmer or that's gonna like get kind of messy. I just pat the color on, or I'll like pat it in the crease, and then I'll nicely blend it out so I'm not like getting powder under my eyes. But I usually clean up after it under my eyes anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Anyways, I absolutely love this palette. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. I actually purchased this on Ulta.com, and I use my Ebates. Plus, they were like giving double cash back. So, if you haven't checked out Ebates, I will put the link down below. You get really awesome deals on there. My next favorite is a lip product. This is by Too Faced. It is one of their melted liquid long wearing lipsticks. This is in Melted Fuchsia. I absolutely have been loving these. They're not really crazy long wearing, but I love how vibrant and pigmented they are. I just usually apply a gloss over top of it, normally like a clear gloss, but just to kind of keep its staying power a little bit um, longer. It says that they're supposed to be long wearing, but I don't know if it's just my lips but they feel a little bit drying on them. So I just like to, so that they don't like ball up and look weird, I just plant apply a gloss over top of them to kind of keep the staying power but the color is really really great the color payoff is amazing um, and super pigmented and it's just so gorgeous and I love the packaging because it's almost like an OCC lip tar but it has the applicator on there so you don't have to like dig up a brush every second that you want to use it because that's kind of like a hassle so it makes it a little bit easier to apply and I'm um, a little bit quicker application. My next product is a blush. This is in Love Cloud. This is a rediscovered blush. I kind of lost them in the back of my Muji drawers, but when I was cleaning them out the other day, I just was like, hey, I, I remember, I liked this. So I started using it and I literally have been probably using it um, almost every single day. It's just one of those colors that look really, really great on your skin. It just gives you a, the perfect like glow of color and it's buildable so you can kind of pack on the color so it looks a little bit more, a little bit, my words are running together so that they look a little, so that it looks a little bit more like pop of color or you can just kind of lightly dust it on your cheeks which I have been really loving especially with like a kind of a darker eye look like today. An eyeliner that I recently discovered and I don't know where it's been all my life is the Inglot gel liner in 77. It's just the black gel liner. I was really into the Smashbox gel liner for the longest time and I was I raved about it so much but that is seriously old news bears now guys because this is one of the most amazing eyeliners, gel liners, that I've tried ever. Um, I was trying to find a new gel liner because unfortunately mine ran, like, I didn't go through it and it dried out. And that was the first time that happened because I, the first 
few times I bought that liner. I went through it, so I don't know if maybe I'm just not wearing as much uh, liner, but I was like kind of bummed out that it did that. So I was on the hunt and I heard um, a few people talk about this kind, this one. So I, I was like, what could be better than the Smashbox? And this is definitely better. It's so much creamier and it doesn't feel like, you know how, maybe because it's still fairly new, like the other one it was new when it was still, but um, it just feels like the softest gel liner um, that I've ever used. It's literally so creamy that I wasn't used to it that the first few times I used it, it like messed up my eyeliner and I was like, seriously, what the heck? Like it was like literally smeared. Um, so I just wasn't used to how creamy it was but I absolutely love it. It's super long wearing, it does not crease, and it's really, really black. So if you're looking for a gel liner, definitely check out Inglot gel liner. Um, I don't have an Inglot by me, so I had to purchase it online, but the shipping was fairly quick, and if you're into gel liners, definitely try this because my life's forever changed. My next product is a nail polish. This is by Butter London in Trout Pout. This I wore so much last month. It is not what it's on my hands now, but I literally painted my nails two times back to back and I know I'm really never do that and I even painted my toenails with this color because it was so pretty especially when you have a tan it makes it look even more brighter and it just looks like a pop of color on your nails it's super fun perfect for the summer it's one of those colors that I kind of reach for when the summertime comes around you know those colors that you're like eh, it's pretty but then when it, you're like in the mood for it you're like yes like I love that like I didn't love this color last month or I didn't love this color two months ago but now I'm loving it again it's like weirdness girl thing that you know you like you have your moods for things it's definitely one of those things and I love the fact that this is one of the three free lacquers so it has no chemicals now my next favorite is a mascara this is the voluminous Miss Manga mascara by L'Oreal well first off I wanted to say it does not look like the commercial it doesn't. I've had this mascara for a few months now and at first I wasn't sure what I thought of it because I hate the applicator. Like I still to this day I hate the wand. I just don't like the flexibility of it like, at all. I like a little bit sturdy of a wand because then the mascara isn't going to drip or it's not as messy and you can kind of get really down in there and just shake it into your eyelashes. With this you can't too much because it is so flimsy, but I do really love the formula. If I could prefer the voluminous formula, I probably would prefer the original one, but since this is like a new one that I've been trying, I did wanna um, include it into my favorites because I do really like it now. I don't like the wand, but I do really like the formula. It's really, really nice. I feel like it's still comparable to the Miss, uh, or the original voluminous. The formula is um, not too wet, but it's not too dry. It's like perfect formula and it dries pretty quick. I don't have to wait an hour to curl my eyelashes. No matter what, I still wear my um, eyelashes. As far as lengthening, it does it does lengthen your eyelashes. It doesn't crazy amount of lengthening, but it does lengthen them. If you don't really like the separated lashes, then you probably wouldn't like this because I feel like that's what it does. It really combs the lashes and separates them. Could even give you the spider lashes if you apply too much of it. My next two favorites are not new favorites. They are rediscovered favorites. It's again one of those mood things you know like how you're in the mood for it I feel like I was loving this last summer and then once summer was over I was like eh, I don't really like it so I never really reached for them anymore but now that it's summertime I'm really into the kind of gold glowy looking skin and I've been waiting forever for the Becca highlight to come back in stock and every time I get that in stock email it's always sold out so I had to compromise and do make do with what I had. Um, so the first highlight is by Maybelline and this is the Touch of Light highlight. It's the Luminizing Face Glow. This is from their last summer collection. Um, I don't think that it's in the permanent collection, I'm sorry, but I did see it on Amazon. I absolutely love it, guys. It's seriously so pretty. I love to mix this with my foundation, but lately what I've been doing is just applying it on my cheekbones and on my nose and on my cupid's bow and a little bit under my eye, especially with this humidity this humid weather I kind of need a little bit of a base highlight because if I don't then it kind of my highlight kind of just rubs off or wears off with my oily skin and then it's not really there anymore so this kind of keeps my highlight there a little bit longer um, I usually apply over this highlight is this Revlon or L'Oreal eyeshadow it's an infallible eyeshadow in gold in in peril this is so pretty I love to use this in the corner of my eyes to kind of give a really pretty highlight but I've also been just applying it on 
top of my cheekbones, down my nose, and also on my Cupid's bow. It is so pretty, especially if you're looking for a really pretty gold highlight or if you don't know if a gold highlight would look great on you because I know when I'm like lighter skinned, during the winter months, my skin's a little bit lighter. I don't like yellow toned things because my skin does have a little bit of a yellow tone, so it kind of looks really silly on me. But now that I have a tan right now, I do, I have been really, really loving it, and it looks so beautiful for the summertime. It's like the perfect glow to your skin. But if you're like me and you're looking for that Becca eyeshadow, then you can make do with other things that you have. My next favorites are some skincare products. The first one is a sample that I use from my Sephora perks. This is the Dr. Brandt No More or Pores No More. This is a pore refining primer. This I have been loving so much. It works so good. I love the texture and the feel of it. It's not really silicone feeling. It still has a little bit of an oily feel to it, but it's not super oily like some of those primers out there, and it doesn't feel like your makeup's going to slide off your face. I've been really, really loving it because it does does kind of tighten my pores up so it makes my pores not look so visible especially um, under my nose or by my nose area where the pores are a little bit larger so um, I have been really really loving this a lot it says that it's for oily combination skin it instant mattifies pore refiner primer and it doesn't feel like some of those oily oil control primers kind of feel mask like you know um, and this doesn't feel like that so I've been really enjoying this and I'm definitely going to be purchasing a full size next product is a eye cream and this one is the eye duty triple remedy instant brighten depuff and smooth for sensitive skin this one is by first aid beauty and it is fragrance free allergy tested and it's um, a really delicate eye cream if you've watched my videos then you know that I have been using the Tarte eye cream and the Bobbi Brown extra pair eye cream those are my favorite the Bobbi Brown one is by far out of the park my favorite um, all of all time but I was kind of on a hunt for a new the applicator is like a metal applicator so it feels really really good on your eyes um, it's real cooling it's for anti-aging purposes it's really nice because it has like a brightener in it and it almost looks like a concealer because it really does like brighten under your eyes and it looks really really pretty it looks like I applied a um, concealer under my eyes um so I normally just like to use it in the morning since it has that brightener in it. My next product is by Mario Bedjescu. Sorry if I butchered the name. This is the Silver Powder. This is so amazing if you are looking for a non really um, harsh kind of what do you call those? Pore strips. <laughs> blackhead removers. <laughs> That's what you call them. Anyways, this is really, really nice. I like to use the blackhead strips because those are by far the best things ever invented. But I'm just looking for something kind of so that I'm not using those so much because they're really bad for your skin. So in between those little sessions that I like to use the pore strips, I've been using this silver powder and I absolutely love it. It's just a powder. Um, and you just kind of pat it onto your nose and then you let it dry and you wipe it off and I do find my nose being less visible of pores or less filled my pores being less filled dirty or I do notice my pores being a little bit less dirty it doesn't work as quickly as um, like the pore strips it doesn't like get them all I feel like it's just getting like the surface of them but the more that I use them I can see and I can feel it is kind of lifting up those blackheads but they're just, it takes a little bit of time. Um, so I have been loving it a lot. I've been using it for about two months now, so I'm finally noticing difference now, but at first I really wasn't. I used it about once or twice a week, and then once a month I will use those pore strips because it's like, all right, gotta get those all out. I picked this up at Nordstrom, so I will put the link down below if you wanna check it out. Now my last beauty product is a hair product. This is by Garnier Fruities. This is the Damage Eraser Strength Reconstructing Butter. This is really, really cool because it has keratin butter in it to strengthen your hair. It says need intense reconstruction to bring back strength shine damaged hair. This rich indulgent butter is designed to intensively reconstruct hair strength for strong rejuvenated, rejuvenated hair. It says to still use a um, conditioner after this so it's not necessarily a deep con deep conditioner um, it's almost just like a it's just kind of like a thinning butter it's just a damage it says it's a damage eraser you could definitely use this as a deep conditioner even though it does recommend to still use a conditioner but 
you can definitely use it as a conditioner because it does make my hair feel so smooth and it almost just brings it back to life. You know when you kind of styled your hair a lot or um, used it or kind of put a lot of heat to it the last few days, you kind of just give it that deep conditioner and it just kind of brings it back to life. I noticed that when I use it on my extensions, they it literally makes them look brand new again they just need a little tender loving care so i've been really really loving this and it's super inexpensive you can pick this up at the drugstore so i love that i love the fact that you can find things like that at the drugstore so pick it up if you get a chance um and let me know what you think now on to some non-beauty favorites my first non-beauty favorite is a candle you guys already know i was gonna mention a candle <laughs> this one is the pink petal tea cake candle i heard that they were discontinuing this this not only is the name super cute isn't it cute but i absolutely love the smell of it it has a really really nice floral scent to it and it has a little bit of sweeter undertones to it it's just a really great feminine and girly scent i absolutely love it and the candle is really cute so i've been really really enjoying this a lot it does have a really good throw um i do notice in our larger rooms that i can still smell it. you know how some of them some of them you're like that candle has been lit for hours and i can't even smell it this does not and i was a little bit worried about it because it doesn't smell like it would be that strong, but it is so good. I absolutely love it. Another non-beauty favorite is the sandals from Steve Madden. I have been wearing these so much. I absolutely love them. They are so cute and so pretty. I love the fact that they have um, rhinestones on them because I feel like it gives a little bit of a girly flair. You know how some of the sandals, those foam flip-flops, they're kind of like they're cute I, I wear them but this kind of is a little bit more dressy or put together kind of sandals they don't have really much cushion to them so um unfortunately they don't like really do that much for my back but i do really like the way they look and how cute they are it looks so perfect with a maxi dress or a pair of shorts i've been really wearing these so much lately um they're like the only shoes i've been really out wearing so um they did have like clear and some nude ones. I think that I actually purchased this on Holt Look. So if you're not familiar with Holt Look, I got these on um, a discounted price. So definitely check Holt Look out. I will put their link down below. My last non-beauty favorite is this book that I purchased. This is You're Already Amazing. I first bought, or I didn't buy, I first sampled this book on my iPad. And there's something about like having the books, you know? Like I love having the books on my bookshelf and I love opening and feeling the books and having the books. So I was gonna purchase it on my iPad. And also the iPad kind of gives you a headache after you look at it too long. So I ended up purchasing it after I read the sample of it and I, I've just been so in love with it. I absolutely love it so much. It's so encouraging and inspiring and motivating and if you are a spiritual person this book is really really great. It just kind of encourages you a little bit sometimes in this dirtball world we live in. Um, we kind of just need to be reminded and need to be refilled with um, the good things in life, you know? And it kind of puts you, your mind in a different perspective. And I love looking at the world and um, these new eyes that I have. It's just like, I feel like I'm just like a brand new me um, over this past year. Like I'm looking at this world in a completely different way and it's really, really amazing. I will put everything down below, the author and the book name. So those are my favorites this month. Thanks so much for watching. Don't don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video thumbs up me and my husband also have been doing daily vlogs I will put that link over here if you want to check out our daily vlog channel again thanks so much for watching let me know what your products let me know what products you've been loving this month I will see you guys in my next video bye